We want to get to Tiger Woods. Speaking out in his first in-depth interview since that February car crash that left him with severe leg injuries, talking about his recovery and why he says his professional career might never be the same. TJ Holmes joins us with that. Good morning, TJ. Hey, good morning, Stray. You mentioned that car crash uh, back in February. Tiger Woods spent three weeks in the hospital after that crash, but he went home and he had to spend three months in the hospital, in the hospital bed. He couldn't get out of the bed there at home for three straight months. So imagine the excitement that fans had when they saw that simple video, three second video of him hitting a golf ball last week. But Tiger Woods has seemed to come to terms with something that golf fans are going to have to come to terms with as well, that he is not going to pull off another Tiger comeback this time. I've had some really you know, tough, uh, tough days, some, some, um, really hard, hard weeks, some setbacks here and there. Just nine months after that devastating car crash. Person's trapped, vehicle on the side of the road. Golf legend Tiger Woods sits down with Golf Digest, candidly detailing his journey to recovery. It's one of those things where I just wish I could do actually everything that I used to go do, but it's just not quite there yet. After suffering an open fracture to his shin that shattered his right leg, Woods feared he would never walk the same, let alone play golf. There was a point in time when it was, um, I wouldn't say 50-50, but it was near there, but I'm not, I was, was going to walk out of that hospital with one leg. Um, so now that I did, um, I wanted to test and see if I still had my hands. He's come a long way from bedside golf, recently posting this video on Instagram, captioned, making progress. You know, I really did miss being a, a competitor. I compete in everything I do. And right now, my competition is directly is directed at my leg. Okay, each and every day, I'm, I'm what can I do to get it better? Wood says that competitive spirit and wise words from his dad helped him stay present during the rehab process. This is where my dad's philosophy or dad's teachings came into play. You don't know how long a firefight's going to take. One of my dad's ways of getting through that was live meal to meal. So I just shortened up the window saying, God, this is going to be nine months of hell to mm. it's just two to three hours. And if I can repeat these two to three hours at a time, next thing you know, it adds up. And he says one of his greatest motivators to recover, his son, Charlie. The two spent rehab time bonding. We go out there and play like 54 holes. And that's when I could teach him all these different things, how to hit different shots. What's your mindset? What are you trying to do? As Tiger molded the young woods in the sport. He speaks wonderfully about how he's helping him and teaching him and uh, teaching him patience. And, you know, that's something that Tiger has in abundance alongside that incredible strength. There's this incredible patience. Woods has bounced back from serious injuries before, but this time he says it's different and his days of being a full-time golfer are over. I think something that is realistic is playing the tour one day, never full-time ever again. Pick and choose is an unfortunate reality, but it's my reality. And I understand it and I accept it. And guys, get this. Remember, he has had 10 surgeries. Mm. That was before the accident. Yeah. So this is a body that's beat up, and he just knows. And he can't climb Mount Emperor Everest again. But that competitive spirit is there. You just mentioned, he said the first thing he did when he got home from uh, in that hospital bed, somebody hand me a golf club. Yeah. Even in the hospital, he was having people throw him things to where he was getting caught by the nurses. Like, what are you doing in here? He just wanted to keep his hands and just stay sharp in some way. That's still in him. Physically, he knows he just what can't do it. Yeah, no, right. Just can't do it. But he seems in a good place. He seems yeah. as calm. We've been watching him his whole life. He seems as calm and happy as at peace talking about his kids as we have ever seen him in that interview. Yeah. 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 Continue to wish them all the best. Thank you, DJ. You got it. Guys. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.